Hello. All right, so recently the Franken creation called the KFC Double Down has come back to Canada. However, it's expensive as a bitch. <laughs> $11.99 for a single KFC Double Down sandwich. Pretty crazy, so I figure we buy the ingredients, we multi-purpose those ingredients in other videos, but at the cost breakdown, you could make one or two. I'm making one today because we know I'm trying to become more slender, more tender, and we're controlling our portions. Anyhow, I wanna make it, I know I can make it cheaper for myself, and you know, see how it stacks up. I've had KFC's double downs before, they're good, but at the same time, when you make something at home, it gets that, that, that just that extra, the right amount of sauce, the, the perfect cheese placement, the perfect bacon placement, all these things. So I wanna make it with you today, come back, destroy, enjoy the Franken creation that is a double down and see if mine gets a one or a two gun salute. All right, let's make this. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. All right, we're making dredge, equal parts, cornstarch to white flour, all purpose flour. Don't need much because we're doing one breast. All right, we need herbs and spices. I don't know KFC's 11, but this is just what I'm doing. Paprika, I'm just gonna eyeball everything here. You can do it how you like. Paprika, seasoning salt. We got some cayenne, dash of cayenne, a little kick on a spice. We got oregano, we have cinnamon, which I know it seems crazy, but I like it just as a little kick in there. Don't go too crazy, just a little too much. We got cracked black pepper, we have garlic powder, and we have a nice two pinches of salt going in. And we gotta mix that up. Okay, next up we're going in with our favorite bacon. What's that? That's air fryer bacon. If you don't know, now you know. 380 for, I'd say nine minutes. Maybe check on it at eight. Anywhere between eight and 10 usually gets you right where you're supposed to be, but I'm telling you, it's the best. Like I said, this goes in 380. Eight to 10 minutes, perfect bacon every single time. Okay, so making the sauce for this, just a guesstimate. I don't know if it's for sure, but in my mind, this is what I feel like it's like. So desperate times call for desperate measures. We have like a tablespoon and a half, not even quite right now of mayo and we're spatuling it out of the jar. That's when it gets real low. Probably like a tablespoon. We're gonna go kind of like equal parts ketchup almost. And then we're gonna come in with a dash of hot sauce. Use whatever you want. I'm just using Frank's, but I think uh, maybe like uh, sriracha, whatever you want. A little bit of horse radish because I do believe that this song is supposed to have like a tangy, zangy type kick. And then I just have this stuff, which is smoky ranchero. Just a little bit of something to add to the flavor. And then we come in with the mini whisk. And I think that'll be a nice, sweet, spicy, creamy, Horse radishy, nice kick to have on this Frank and Sando. All right, we need this Havarti cheese here, just thin slicing off the brick for melting purposes, it's because I don't really wanna bust out the grater when I can just get, you know, six, six or so nice melty strips for a cheese action. All right, so I'm gonna fillet or butterfly, more like fillet, I guess you wanna consider it, a single breast into two separate pieces because we are trying to watch the calorie intake today. So we know KFC does it with probably two whole chunks, but uh, I'm a ratios guy. We know this about me. I do like ratios and I don't like the idea of the sandwich being two huge, massive pieces of chicken. I kind of like the idea of a thinner, tender, crispier two chunks. So we go ahead and perform the necessary surgery here and get ourselves two nice separate pieces. There we go, two fillets. And so those are going into the buttermilk right here while everything else comes together. And then we're gonna go ahead and dredge up and fry these. Okay, perfect bacon incoming right here just to get a little, little dab, a little dab will do you, a little dab of grease, let it firm up just a bit here. But tell me that's not the perfect bacon.
Okay, so we're getting so close. One more step here. We gotta fry these nice cutlets that we have. But first we gotta dredge them up, just get a nice coat, not too thick, but we definitely wanna pack it into the crevasses, that's for sure. All right, so cutlets getting dropped in the hot tub at 325. Hear that sizzle in the hot tub? <laughs> for six to eight minutes and golden brown. I'll see you then. Okay, so seven minutes later, these babies get placed down in parchment paradise for a little cool time to set up. Not bad if I do say so myself. All right, time for the cheese layer player. It's gonna hit them nice and concise, one by each inside of each other inside of each other <laughs> you know what i mean okay so these babies are going in the sauna aka the boiler for like a few minutes just keep your eye on them okay so we're all melty all the components are here nothing left but to build it and if you build it he will come and that's me who's gonna eat it Okay, so I think we're gonna use the flatter, wider one as the base for structural issues. We're gonna come in on this side where the sauce drizz. Seems crucial. I've opted to go with the single pieces, but folded to make it thicker of bacon. Shout out to the plan going by. Alright, we're st stacked up with our bacon, and you guys know me, there's always going to be room for more sauce on everything. And then our other cheesy roof, a top, and there it is, my KFC Double Down. Let's go ahead and try this out. All right, y'all, so here it is. In all its glory, my KFC copycat of the Double Down. That chicken there, that chicken there. Bottom a little saucy from our presentation station, but a couple things to note before we jump in. First, I let it come down to like a nice just over and above room, not Luke. Yeah, kind of like Luke, a little bit like Luke, but chicken, it needs to settle. Cause when you're eating too hot chicken, <laughs> it's no good. So we've let her settle down. Uh, another thing to mention is I think it looks personally incredible. I think the bacon fold is tenfold a good idea. Uh, and also I have not tasted the sauce. Like when I mixed that sauce, I didn't taste it. So I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. Uh, outside of that, excited to try it. I think it looks amazing and we'll see before we get to, to judge anything. I also think that the sizing of the chicken, like I said, cutting that breast in half was is the move, is the ticket. I think I'm actually gonna go from this side first though because it's better for my bird mouth. But let's do this. Mm -mm. It's so stupid already. Wow. I'll get into a word or two here in a minute, but just I brought some extra sauce just in case. Oh man, is it good? Mm. Mm. 
batter is great like the the coating is great sauce is awesome with the kick of the horseradish and the heat still the sweet of ketchup vinegary creamy I might consider pulling back a pinch of salt in the uh, in the dredge because the bacon is already saucy by or salty by nature. But the cutting of the chicken in half was totally the right move. And that smoky ranchero stuff I put in definitely uh, gives it that different, a little bit of a different flavor. But hey, we're cooking here, we're creating here, we're copycatting. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect. It can be your rendition. Is it amazing? Yes. Is it probably pretty terrible for you? Again, yes. But is it delicious? Also, yes. And would I make it again? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes. All right. Side dip. The tail end. And then we drag. And we call this. Well, we'll wait for it. Killer. Killer. So, you may already know, on a scale of none to one or two guns, she is getting a two guns all day. Whoever originally conceptualized it Kind of a strange idea, but it works. All the components are delicious and they work absolutely. So I would highly encourage you to make your own copycat, follow this if you want kind of thing, sort of deal. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to help with resources to fuel further food creations like this, there's a link down below. Do not feel obliged. It's just help if you want, help if you can. Otherwise, thank you for the view. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.